hello greetings uh, the thing is still there now again huh? there's an attack uh, intensified on me and I can't resist this so I a good friend of mine told me to just take it and I think that's what uh, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Ji also except what whatever pain or uh, the voices and feelings. I keep telling myself these are not my feelings. And I do believe in uh, self-healing. You are your healer. Uh, Imam Ali had said this, but unfortunately, uh, I don't believe that it was uh, Imam Ali, but that he had copied it from the Greeks or someone. So, um, Unfortunately, that's just not for me. But I do believe that one should he have the healing capacity for oneself and uh, stay away from toxic people and liars and corrupted. Although they might come after you, covert narcissists, if you know something like that, for example, psychopaths and all. So be very careful. I wish you the best. I'm really sorry I had to um, Australia. That's really very, very tragic. I don't have the words uh, when I see such things. It's very, very shuddering. Uh, but there's something like uh, what is not uh, what I, I mean, I cracked up looking at this. Now I just have to keep a stone. My heart, like hard hearted. Oh my God, no, I can't afford to do this. But there's this feeling which is pulling me down. And I have been feeling internal bleeding since a long time. And I wrote in my diaries, now and then I used to feel that internally I'm oh, energy hemorrhage and blood, internally bleeding. Uh, so later on, yeah, I even told a spiritual healer, uh, my Shia uh, Sayyid, unfortunately he couldn't do anything and he didn't uh, turn out to be, I guess, uh, he came from my father. M he was in Switzerland or somewhere and uh, some some friend of his from Switzerland, a Shia, and then you know, I told him about this person or they met, I, I was confused. Anyways, so he said that these, uh, this water that you're feeling or like tears rolling down my skin and all this, or uh, it's due to, uh, what, anemia. Uh, you know, blood ki kami hai. or some weakness or something. I just couldn't get it. My hemoglobin is quite normal. I'm not anemic. So, God knows. Anyways, so uh, I've iron. I mean, this doesn't, uh, no one, uh, does any uh, one lacking blood anemic? Uh, do they have this problem? God, so all this uh, nonsense going on, no one able to help me, no true person could I find. Now I'm really, so, um, okay, I have a free thinking and all this, so I was feeling like such a hip hypocrite, feeling so guilty, that you know now emotions come up and I get very angry. So on my Facebook page I went and I saw what I've written on the about free thinkers and free writers. So I've put there, I've added there today. I should have added it long time ago. You can have your free thinking and your free writing, but please be I've put there, please be kind and considerate. If it's an ideology we have to attack, then we attack it in the best way 
uh, caring. My way, I wanted it to be loving and caring, but if you're going to show me attitude and injustice and all this, then I will get mad. Uh, and uh, now I get mad, uh, my ego comes up uh, very easily. I try to neutralize it. My feelings uh, become as neutral. I can't become a judge in this, but I'm doing my best. I didn't even know if I will be able to talk like this. So, yeah, because in Karachi many years back, like my, they had controlled my thoughts. So if they put my thought on some, I felt like some outside agency through the spirit or mind control, distance mind control. So my head would feel like meshed and I would get a brain damage or something. Uh, or go into a coma. I didn't faint actually. That's the worst thing. I should have fainted at least for some time, you know, and then, but I could sleep. And the word sleep was there in Karachi, all the time attacks and such. Hor horrible, unbearable pain. Yes, and uh, the thing is, I'm saying this about my health, and I don't feel ashamed to say this. So please, uh, all those in pain, I don't want you to suffer alone. Let's uh, get this global, let's make the most out of it. And let's see if someone like Mother Teresa or some good person can reach out and nurse us and just be there compassionately for us. Uh, I had to get into this uh, truth, yeah, it was very important for me, even as my life uh, so today I felt like, uh, I don't want to go to the hospital. And you see the painkiller I had to take. So it, I guess it got a little worse because it could be my liver. My liver gets a grip. It feels like someone has gripped it, All right? Uh, so it's like a muscular pull pain too on the side and the back. And now I'm having other pain. So, you see, I don't want to go to the hospital. And uh, I frantically then was searching for self-healing, self-healing. So I found uh, someone, another Tao, and I did uh, Dr. Deepak Chopra's uh, breathing and activating. Oh, I have to listen to his whole lecture on activating the self-healing thing, on self-healing. Uh, so you have to activate that. And then I feel such a, a attack. It's like a psychic, like so much negativity and going in this self-destruction. Like, you know, if no one cares, uh, you go in this uh, spiral or vicious circle. Uh, it happens. It happened to me when they separated me from his desire. Whoever it is, really, really, it's really, really wicked, really cruel. Uh, so I'm sorry, I, I also, no, no, I cracked up in that video. I can't believe it. So I checked on YouTube and uh, I was like wondering how, okay, I'm not going to be we, I don't want to put people, humiliate them, you know, or on their faces, say, yeah, uh, look what happened, you know, like that. That's not my, uh, that was not in my religion, not in my nature. Taunting and, you know, or uh, things like that, anyways. So, I'm really sorry, Australia. Oof. I can't express. I'm really sorry it has to happen there. And, uh, oh my God, what is this world coming to? So yeah, I feel that alternative medicine, healing, law because you know, there's so many side effects, like a liver problem person cannot take this wonderful painkiller. I mean, the pain, it was so strong, but it made me weak, but weaker and weaker, but at least the pain went for some time. 
Now when I read the prescription literature, I saw side effects like you can't take it if you have a liver problem. So I may have a liver problem anyways. So I think that's what gave me also in the anger, the agitation and all this, seeing so much injustice and being in that uh, Rob Christian maybe, why should it be my fault? Um, but there's a way I now cannot take this, these people. Anyways, I'm going to do, I was searching if uh, Jesus Christ is uh, a bastard. Okay, freedom of speech, and uh, so why you have to take it, you Christians, you devil. What if Jesus Christ was the devil, and uh, or the son of the devil? Now I can be like a kid and listen to that music that I listen to. Jesus Christ is a bastard. Like that, right? Um, but now, since my Quran and Shia Islam and all that, we sure it was true. We knew it that I mean, Christians staying Christians because they're born in so many years back. But as a Muslim, I can't go back to Christianity ah, because our thought, our power of reasoning and all this was so strong um, through, you know, and then we had the Quran, which we thought was uh, God's word and God spoke in a language uh, that uh, we, it was very difficult to comprehend. It, it's not like a New York Times bestseller. So I took it as a, a mystical, very, you know, and clarity, so at that time, my mind was like Najil Palaha of Imam Ali Peek of Elogans, or Imam Ali's, uh, uh, you know, letters and this, and the books. George Jordak has written The Voice of Human the, uh, Justice on him. So Imam Ali was our uh, very high thought. A very high reasoning and all this. And so I, when I did my research, I felt that uh, Christianity doesn't have that. Although they're uh, Bible verses, I don't know how they, uh, they're very, uh, the thing about it, like uh, they're very eloquent and all this, uh, you know, but uh, we are more simple in our talk. Uh, as I, I am, no, but our Shias can be very, very articulate and eloquent and never miss a thing. And that's what shocked me when they have missed in the Quran verses. So, you know, I, I don't believe in the sun, one God and everything. Now this Rob Christian really got to me on his uh, live chat. Uh, so they can't hear anything about Jesus against Jesus Christ. You've got to hear this freedom of speech. And so you think you you, you uh, Christians never killed anyone? Mm. So okay, when he mentions. Uh, the Christians killed, I said, thanks so much. And like, you know, that's for mentioning, I mean, I, what did I say? I should have said, yeah, I, I, I should have said Om there or something like that. Or maybe Amen also. But uh, what I saw was that anything against them, the scriptures I'm telling them, because uh, at first the opening statement was that uh, Muslims hate no, if all Muslims, imagine all these billions of Muslims today, if they hated Christians, right, all the Christians would be dead by now, all of them, God forbid, God forbid if some enemy of ours, uh, mutual, wants to kill Christians, 
Because you see, we, we as Shias, we cannot kill Christians. We had Mubahila, the, uh, the curse thing. Anyone who lies, then the curse is on them. And they're, so they have to take an oath, right? If you didn't break an oath and all this. I mean, Jesus cursed the fig tree. So now if I say, I have to bring these things out. Uh, so I'm to, I should be resting and I'm not, it's not that I'm not giving myself rest. It's that when I want to rest, there are voices and this and that. I have to start my Hindu mantra again. Enough. Hello, yes, so as a, if, a, if I was a Shia, I could not talk like this against the Christians or Jesus Christ, that he is a bastard. Is Jesus Christ a bastard? Was he a son of the devil and not God? And all this? Uh, so I'm searching for, I've searched also uh, earlier on, and I found some academic like text on it that makes sense. That Jesus was a bastard. And we Shias, we don't, we, uh, our Imams have told us to disassociate ourselves from their enemies, the enemies of Allah and the Rasulullah. Disassociate, but not kill. We're wa waiting for our Imam Mahdi to come. With, and uh, we were told he'll come. Jesus Christ will come with him and we'll pray behind him and all this. So we're not supposed to kill. Any Shia who kills, I condemn completely. It is completely wrong. It's uh, not according to our religion, because we're waiting for Imam Mahdi. And then the law will, uh, they will do what they have to do, like Jesus Christ said in the Bible, when the master will come and if the disobediency a disobedient servant, when the master will come, he will cut into pieces the disobedient servant. Okay, so, hmm. anyhow, uh, the Christians will not accept uh, all that, uh, what do you call it, prophet, uh, that this um, the Holy Spirit was not to, the Holy Spirit was there with Jesus Christ. Now someone else, a man was supposed to come, the comforter. And all that, all the points I've seen in the Quran for Prophet Muhammad, he will not speak out of his own, as you know, he, uh, the, he will speak through the mighty, uh, the mighty Lord or the Holy Spirit or this and that. and. All, all those uh, conditions are in the Quran, most of them, or all of them are in the Quran. He will uh, rule, he will uh, judge, he will judge, and all this. Uh, so, uh, anyhow, these Christians, you know, these cheap Christians now have come up on YouTube. And, uh, I mean, very, very cheap way of saying things. So, yes, because uh, some of these Muslims are extremist terrorists. Sorry, this was a mess, uh, uh, email. Uh, so, some of these, uh, they're killing Christians. I don't know how they could be killing Christians. Because uh, there, uh, oh, in the message, if you see the message, how uh, the priest uh, helped uh, the Muslims. When Rasulullah Rasul sent them to this priest in uh, Egypt or Africa, so he protected these Muslims. I just don't know how. I don't know uh, what kind of a way, but our thing was a mobile discussion, and we take an oath, right? 
that whoever lies, I will take an oath on this. Uh, in court, like we also take an oath. So that way, they both took an oath, the Christians of Najran and the Prophet Muhammad took his daughter Fatima also along for the what what is it called the imprecation the what's that word the curse thing when you have to take an oath and then you invoke a curse on the liars if I be a liar then the curse of God is on me so Prophet Muhammad took his family members only not his sahabas, nor even his wives, but Fatima, his daughter, uh, Ali, his cousin and son-in-law, Hassan and Hussein were small children. He took his grands, two grandsons, we are told. You can read about Mubaila. But some of these Christians are ignorant. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. So later on, I will do that. Right now, um, do not let. It's written in the Old Testament. Do not let someone, you know, fall from grace due to your actions and behavior. Behave yourself. Cheap Christians. And do not distort and say properly. Do not hide testimony. Properly say it in the Quran what's written. Kaplani karo. Do not twist and turn. <laughs>